Hey guys, Michelle here. So it's been a little while since I've made a video. I've had some changes in my symptoms and I wanted to share them with you. Um, so I have been on Cinemet for the last year, a little over a year. And I would say at some point last year, I started noticing that my hand was doing this. Like these two fingers were just kind of like doing this every so often. And I would say January, it progressed to where I noticed, actually maybe not even January, yeah, maybe January, February was starting to progress. And then I noticed like when I walk, my hand would just like kind of like do this thing or like twitch like this or open like that, something along those lines. And I also noticed that my foot would kind of like when I walk it, my left foot would kind of just want to like turn in. And so my walking felt a little off. So normally before the cinemet, my, I would have like a limp, but this was different. This was like, my foot didn't want to behave. So I had my appointment with my MDS on Monday and he had an intern that he was training and he was like, he's like, is it okay if he asks you all the questions, he'll come and talk to me and then we'll come back and we'll do an, an ex a physical exam. I was like, yeah, sure. So uh, finished with the intern, he goes and talks to him, he comes back and he does the physical exam and right away he notices my hand. He's like, do you, do you realize you're doing that with your hand? And I was like, yeah, it's been happening for a little while. And boy, he got kind of excited because it was like a teaching uh, uh, opportunity here for him. So, you know, so then he had me go out in the hall he watched me walk and sure enough, he was like, do you see how her foot's going in? Like he was seeing, he was seeing it all, all the things that I was feeling in my left side, my left hand and my left foot. And so we went back into the office and he's asking the intern like, hey, okay, so what do you think it is? And he's, and he's kind of giving him hints and I'm over there like, dyskinesia, dyskinesia. Like I, I wanted to blurt out dyskinesia so bad because I already kind of suspected it was from the medication. And the guy was just like, he wasn't quite saying it yet. And then at some point, the doctor said, dyskinetic, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I knew it. <laughs> I was just like, oh my God, I feel like so smart right now. But anyways, um, I let the intern learn on his own. Um, but it took everything in me not to like blurt it out. So it's good that he recognized that and uh, he decided to tweak my medication. Well, so I'm going to continue them on the Cinemet. I'm taking one pill every four hours. And what he did was he prescribed me, I know I'm going to say this wrong, Adamine or Ada something. Anyway, so I'm going to gradually work up with that medication until I get to a point where I can walk and I'm not having these like episodes of dyskinesia with my hand and my foot. And so there was one day that my left foot was acting up. I had just taken my medication not too long beforehand and my left foot started really acting up. I was like in the kitchen cooking and I'm just like, oh wow, like this is what it's like. Like this was, it was like my first time experiencing dyskinesia, like the way I see others with Parkinson's that are further along have like displayed their dyskinesia. And, um, and it was just like, okay, this is it. This is what it's like. So we're, we're progressing now. Um, but anyways, I've been on the medication for a couple days now and I'm noticing a, an improvement, a little bit of an improvement here and there. Um, I've still had some issues today. And you know, I'm like walking in the halls at work and a part of me, a part of me has a moment of insecurity, you know, just like I'm walking, I feel like I'm walking weird, you know, people are probably noticing. But then I'm just like, my, my attitude is kind of like, I always kind of have like this, I don't care attitude. I'm like, whatever. I'm limping, whatever. Who am I trying to impress? <laughs> so it is what it is. 
Um, so anyways, I wanted to share that with you that if you are noticing that um, you're having like odd movements that aren't tremors and, and he, he even said that, um, you know, it's not, it's not necessarily a tremor. It's just like a, like this kind of like a movement like that. And um, he also said something to him too. He was like, if I, he was saying that if I didn't have Parkinson's and I was taking this medication, that I would not be doing that. So because I am doing this with the medication, that like proves even further that I have Parkinson's. So I thought that was kind of interesting. And, uh, you know, and then he's like sitting there training him, like and just going all in depth on stuff. And he's like, oh, sorry, sorry, I hope you don't mind. I'm like, no, I'm like, this is great. I'm, I'm learning. I love it. So, um, but anyways, it was a, it was an interesting experience. And, and I will let you know how it progresses with this medication. Apparently I take it in increments until I get to a point where I no longer see the dyskinesia and then I can stop at whatever milligrams I'm at. Um, he had me start off on milli, uh, 50 milligrams and slowly working my way up to I think 100. So anyway, I don't know. I don't have it in front of me. But anyways, um, I hope you found that helpful and I will be back soon with an update. All right, take care. Have a good one. Bye.